Now that we have Copilot installed in our editors, let's take a look at how to use it. For today's example, I'll be using Python in VS Code. Create a new file called validate underscore email dot pi. Once you start typing, GitHub Copilot will generate suggestions based on what it believes you want to do. For example, I can import the re module and when I click enter, Copilot will give me suggested code based on what it believes I want to do. Because the file is named validate email, it provides code for validating an email. I can click the tab key on my keyboard to accept a suggestion. When I click the return key, it keeps the fun going by providing the main function to run the code. If I hover over the suggested code, I can see the multiple options available to me. I can also open the completions panel to see even more suggestions that's been generated and accept suggestions from there. This is inline code complete in action, where that gray text represents ghost texts that have Copilot's suggestions. If you try this on your machine and you got a different response, that is okay. One thing to keep in mind when you're working with GitHub Copilot or any LLM is that responses are non-deterministic. This means that we're likely to get a different result each time we use GitHub Copilot, and the result I get may differ from the one that you get.